Hello everyone, this is Juan from Ken Hub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where today we're going to be talking about the male pelvic viscera and perineum. So what I'm going to be doing is basically looking at this image that you see now popping on your screen, which is a parasagittal section of the male pelvis and perineum as well. And we're looking at it from a right view, as you can see. And what we're going to be doing on this tutorial is basically basically describing the different structures that you see here, different bones, different ligaments, some muscles, and the organs, the viscera that we find here. Now sit back, relax, because this is going to be a tutorial where we're going to be dealing with all the important details that you need to know about these structures. So I'm going to provide you with enough information so you can have some solid background on these structures. And before I do so, I would like to describe what is the perineum. And the perineum is generally defined as the segment between the anus and the genitalia and the region of the body inferior to the pelvic diaphragm, which you see here, and a little bit cut here. So this is the pelvic diaphragm. So the perineum should be around this area right about here. There are some deep boundaries of the perineum that are worth noting here. There is one anteriorly, which is known as the pubic arch, and the arcuate ligament of the pubis will be defining the anterior boundaries of the perineum. Also, posteriorly, we're going to be finding the tip of the coccyx, defining the deep or the posterior deep boundaries of the perineum, which you can also see here on this image. This should be the coccyx right about here. And on both sides, we're going to be seeing then the inferior rami of the pubis and ischial tuberosity and also the sacrotuberous ligament. Defining the deep boundaries on a superior level, we're going to be seeing then the pelvic floor, like I mentioned before, and inferiorly, then you're going to be finding skin and fascia. We're going to start off with this structure that you see here. We just removed some of the fascia, some of the bones here as well. We just cut a little bit more into the bone, as you can see here. Remove some of the peritoneum, some of the fascia, and also the bones here, the pelvic bones, were removed to highlight this structure here, which is known as the pubic symphysis. And you're going to be looking at this image throughout this this tutorial, so it's worth highlighting here the pubic symphysis, which is an important midline cartilaginous joint uniting the superior rami of the left and right pubic bones. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.